This is the world we are living in. There's a word for it, VUCA. V U C A. Yeah, anybody knows what V stands for? Volatility. That means it's like stock market uh, or, or like cryptocurrency. <laughs> You, you can't really predict anymore. You cannot say, ah, going by the retail trend, this is where we are going. Now we, we don't know. We don't know. So that's V. How about you? This was the good old days where things were very stable. It was a bull run. And then suddenly, it's like Thanos, you know. <laughs> you know, just one snap of the finger, everything can just crash and burn. Yeah, so that's called uncertainty. You can't really predict. How about C? Complexity. Complex means this department cannot just work in silo anymore. Right, you try to work in silo, you see what will happen. Right now, e-commerce is also spilling over into shops, right? I mean, you heard of Amazon Go. Right, and then the retail shops are now all very, very hard trying to go online. And everybody is just trying to encroach into each other's space. Imagine uh, Microsoft for the longest time, they succeed based on software. And now they go into hardware. And then Amazon, for the longest time, was just an online retail store, right? Used to only sell books, then now they sell everything from A to Z. And then now they also produce hardware. Kindle! Plus A, ambiguity. And please define ambiguity. Unclear. Oh, that means we are not sure what to do. For example, if your O-level was ambiguous, all the parents will complain already. There's a reason why all of us, uh, all of us, including me, we struggle a little bit with VUCA. And that's because our educational system doesn't prepare us for VUCA. Every country's educational system was invented for one thing. What is that one thing? The answer is not educate, uh, to prepare us for the working world, right? And the so-called working world is the industrial world. People who do the same thing day in, day out, day in, day out. You know, Singapore is well known for PISA score. We rank very, very highly across the world, way above US. US is number 26, right? But in Singapore, it's always top one, top one, top one. But all the large companies come from where? US! Hey, there's something wrong here, you know? How can Singaporeans be so good in studying and passing exam and getting scholarship? But we are not creating huge multinational companies like Google. So I, I feel, uh, deep in my soul, I feel very painful that we must do something about it. Okay, there's no time machine here, so we can't go back to your childhood and say, hey, maybe I should attend another school, right? But we can do something from today onwards. We can start to choose what kind of person we want to be. 